Many Catholic faithful have told me of how they missed the greatest prayer humanity has ever created. It has been five months since their last Mass. Well, for some, it is six months, actually. And World War I did not stop this highest form of Christian worship, neither World War II, only the COVID-19 pandemic. Since the lockdown in March this year, people seem to have missed Jesus. They seem to have journeyed far. Yet, they have to return home for something important is left behind. Their journey seems to be meaningless and fruitless without direction, without a good leader who they can rely and hold on to. And so, they have to go back home. Indeed, we need one genuine, God-fearing leader who serves not his own agenda and whims, but one who journeys together with us bringing with him his smart, people-oriented plan. Otherwise, on this terrible pandemic and the Philippine health situation, without this kind of leader, we shall find ourselves riding on a merry-go-round, unable to critically think of what to do and where to land after the long, exhausting, unfinished journey, with no safe end in sight. What my friend told me, at least in that kind of leadership, we have fun in the merry-go-round. <laughs> now that the liturgical celebration is going, slowly going back to the cheeky case with proper health protocols, is the new normal, nothing but gratitude is all that people could utter here in my new parish assignment. Truly. Faith in God is all that there is to give them some sense of hope and that life must go on. They know who Jesus is and their faith in Him. They know their true leader. In the Gospel reading, this 21st Sunday Ordinary Time, which is taken from Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 to 20, Jesus asks His disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. People did not get him right. They could not figure out who he is. It is made clear, however, that Jesus is not John the Baptist. He is neither Elijah nor Jeremiah. He turns to his disciples and asks the same question. But who do you say that I am? Simon, the son of Jonah, says, You are the Messiah, the son of the living God. They get him right. After all, Jesus is their leader, their master, and their teacher who is with them for years. Jesus journeys with them from the moment he called them to follow him. Now he is preparing his disciples for his own journey to the cross. As he prepares his disciples, he has chosen Simon, renamed him Peter. In Greek, it means rock. Peter means rock, to be the leader of the group. Now will they be able to continue to journey with Jesus to the cross and stick together as a community with Peter being their leader? When Jesus is gone, Peter's call to discipleship is now coming out into the open. Jesus renames him Peter or Rock. Peter becomes the community leader with a rock of faith. However, Peter will stumble. All of them will do stumble. But again and again, Peter will be called by Jesus to stand and to lead the community of disciples as solid as rock. His name tells him that, as a leader, he must serve them in times of difficulties. He must not hide himself from psychological mechanisms such as denial, projection, rationalization, and regression. For the leadership to flourish, one doesn't focus on oneself and personal wishes. 
one must focus on others and face them as a servant leader. Jesus has been showing this in words and in deeds to Peter and to his disciples. The first reading, which is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 29, verses 19 to 23, teaches that self-serving leaders like Shebna don't last. These kind of leaders have no place in the community. Their days are numbered. Paul is a good leader, focuses on God, and expresses his feelings and amazement of God's mind in the second reading. He writes to the Romans and shares his highest form of expression of wonder in these words. For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. You would like to see that in the Letter of Paul to the Romans, chapter 11, verses 33 to 36. Today in the Mass, my dear friends, we pray for our government and religious leaders that they may be true to their call, that they may find COVID-19 pandemic as an opportunity to genuinely serve people, especially those in dire need. This is your faith influencer in the social media, Father Joel Aliligay. Thank you so much. God bless you. Happy Sunday, everyone.